Mari and today I wanted to review the Canon G7X. So I've had this camera for about a month now, I believe. I like it a lot. I really like it. Um, overall, I'm very happy I got it. The camera that I had previous to this uh, was a this small little Canon PowerShot Elf 330HS. Um, super tiny and small. I mean, it, it's, it was good. Really no complaints. I use it for vlogging. Um, well, there were some complaints. Like, it was not very good in low light, and the sound quality was not the best. So those were kind of some things that I was looking to upgrade. This, I would say, is a major upgrade compared to that. So, some things that I like. For one, well, since I use it for vlogging, um, that it has a flip-up front screen. Yeah, so I like that it has that because, so that, you know, super selfie mode, like, hey, what's happening? It makes it nice. I don't use it all the time, but it is good to, like, just make sure I'm in the shot because before when I would vlog sometimes and I'd film myself, I would just not know if I was actually filming myself or not. So I like that. It has a cool uh, flash feature, a little pop-up. <laughs> I've never used that yet. Um, I also like it has really nice low light capabilities. I was filming last night and um, it was so dark out I feel like I could barely see and then and I was like no way my camera will not capture this but it looked like better on camera than it did in real life like through my own eyes I felt so I was very happy with that. The sound is also so much better. It has an automatic wind filter so and I have noticed a difference definitely. Last night again, yeah, it was um, I was walking across the Brooklyn Bridge and it was windy. Traffic and wind, sorry. <laughs> and it did really well. I also like that it connects to the phone. There's a little button right here that you push and it will connect to your phone or um, I think you can set it up to your computer. I have not tried that yet, but I, I definitely set it up to my phone. So getting images to my phone is so easy and this camera takes amazing photographs. I mean, the video quality is excellent and that's mainly what I use it for but the photographs are also so good and so since I can connect it to my phone then my Instagram game has really stepped up. <laughs> uh, I have the 5S um, iPhone so which takes decent photos, not bad. But this takes so much better photos that like, the, just the detail is so much better. Um, I'm like amazed every time I see stuff like, whoa, I took that, how, how did I do that? It's really just the camera. <laughs> and you can man manually adjust a lot, which is nice because for actual photographs and stuff, that is nicer. Another thing that I like is the depth of field that it creates. It makes you look like you know what you're doing, you know, where it's like the subject is in focus and the background is blurry. It will do that by itself automatically, which is really nice in just like a point and shoot small camera when I'm just, I just, all I want to carry is this with me when I go out. Some things that I dislike though, so it creates that really nice depth of field. However, I have found that it takes a while to focus on things sometimes, so I'll be, and if I'm not, if I don't pay attention and I'm just like filming, blah, blah, blah. When I look at the footage later, I'm like, oh, I was out of focus the entire time and like something random and behind me was in focus, like, so that's annoying. Or it'll just be like the first several seconds is me still blurry and then I will eventually come to focus. So I have learned that you kind of have to wait um, to allow it to focus. Um, there's also a touch screen capabilities for focusing, which is nice as long as I'm looking at what I'm filming, but if I'm doing it myself and I don't have this up, then it can be complicated. So I don't really like that, uh, although it's not like a huge deal. The other thing that I really dislike, which other, I know other people have reviewed this and mentioned this, is that the microphone is on the very top of the camera here. So it's so easy to cover it up, especially when I'm like filming like this. I never even knew that I would put my hand there, but apparently I do, and I cover up the microphone a lot, and even though now I know that it's there and I, that I do it, I consciously always try not to, but I still accidentally cover it up sometimes. So that's really annoying, because when I'm filming, um, I don't realize, and then later when I get home and look at the footage and I'm editing, I'm like, oh, I can't use any of this because uh, you can't hear anything, or it's so muffled that it's just makes no sense. But it was awesome and also like, well, I don't even remember that as my New York. I think by now that I would get used to it. And I know there are some hacks I've seen like on YouTube of people like 
uh, gluing things here so that you can't actually like touch it. Um, so maybe I'll have to do that at some point. I feel like those are the main things that I dislike, which aren't, so there aren't that many things that I dislike. It's a lot heavier than my old one <laughs> in comparison, like, but that's not like a deal breaker. So one other thing, when I first got this camera, I, um, was using it for like a few days, um, and seriously, one day, in the middle of me using it, I was filming something. It was perfectly fine. The next minute I looked down and the screen is like purple colored, like pink and purple. Everything, it's still working, but everything on the screen was pink and purple. And I was like, what? Like I didn't drop it, nothing had happened. It just all of a sudden started being pink and purple. I was like freaking out about it because this is not like a cheap camera. And I was like, what just happened? And I checked, connected it to my phone to make sure that it was actually still filming properly. Like it wasn't filming pink and purple, it was just the screen. So something was wrong with the screen. So I was actually, I was in California then. And um, when I got back, I took it to the store that I bought it from and showed them and they were like, okay, yeah, that's a problem. And they just automatically exchanged it. And the new one has been perfect, no problems. So I don't know what that was about though. Just beware, maybe that will happen. I don't know. Buy from a legit place so that if something happens, you can return it. I think that's a good piece of advice. I also say when I bought it, I got it in a bundle. So it came with like an extra battery and also a SD card and also an extra one year warranty for like drop spills all that kind of stuff so and it was cheaper than other places that were selling it just the camera alone um so I definitely recommend looking for bundles and stuff because when you're making such a big investment like try and get as much out of the deal as you can <laughs> but yeah overall I think it's a really good camera it's really great for vlogging and it does a lot of features that I want um, if you are someone who's like just starting out doing YouTube or something, I don't think you need this. Like I don't think it's necessary. I would say just start off with something like more basic like this one. This is what I got initially and it was less than $200. And um, because I don't know, vlogging and stuff is a lot of work. It's more work than people might know. So don't put a huge investment into something until you know you really like it. I got this because, well I have the DSLR that I'm filming with now, um, and I had that one, but I'm about to go traveling and I, I, I personally just don't want like carrying that much stuff, so I didn't really want to bring the DSLR, but I wanted really good quality stuff for videos because I'm going to be documenting my travels along the way. Um, so I figured I could sell the DSLR and my other one and then buying this one seems legit so that's what I'm doing I haven't sold these ones yet obviously but that's how I justified buying this one for myself and just being able to make better quality content I think is really important to me so that's why I'm happy with this and it's exactly what I need for my purposes so overall good purchase I'd say I'm happy alright so hope you enjoyed that uh, quick uh, camera review if you want to see more videos from me, um, I do travel related things, then please subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and look at all the photos that I'm now taking with this. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Thanks so much and happy travels. Bye. So the moon keeps going um, under the clouds, so it's really hard to capture.